So the news to these people um, who are committing suicide, who are jumping to their deaths from the last few days are making me really restless. It makes me feel like, um, is anything more precious than being given this opportunity to live life? Is there anything more precious than you being given this um, platform to rise over and show your strength? Look, I'm not talking from the point of view of, oh, I'm in a cushioned place. I didn't know what depression was. Of course, I have been there at the depths of this ocean. I know how dark this ocean of depression is. It's not been easy. And I suffered it during a time where mental health was a taboo. We couldn't talk about it. Uh, some of us didn't even know it was called depression because we just knew that we were so fed up of life that we wanted to end it so badly. The pain was so much that I f would feel like I wish I could slit some part of me that it would just flow out of me. So people who want to commit suicide are actually not weak people. It's just a weak moment that they have to reach out. And trust me, when we reach out in that moment where you feel the weakest, that drive to do something terrible to yourself or harm to yourself is gone. It's a very short span of time. But what it does is, when you don't talk about your problems, when you don't reach out, the depression leads you to those moments, those spur of moments where you feel nothing is worthy enough to stay back. So when I ask you to reach out, when I'm asking you to speak up, I'm not asking you to do that out of your comfort zone, but reach out to someone who you're comfortable with. It doesn't have to be a professional person, but if it's a friend, it's a family, it's some random person that you have met in a healing circle, it doesn't matter. Pour your heart out because this depression that you accumulate through the years or through the months makes you go ahead and do something very terrible to yourself, makes you harm yourself. I have been offering a lot of free sessions to people who are not able to afford it. So if you are one of them, don't feel shy. We have all gone through financial situations. It is your tough time today, but you know what? Sometime it was my tough time too and I've reached out and a lot of lovely people have reached out to me. And if you feel terrible to take something completely free from me, why don't we barter? If you are really good at something that I really need in my life, offer that to me and I'll offer my services to you. But please, 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 life is too precious for you to jump, for you to end it, for you to think of doing something terrible to yourself. Money, money is pieces of paper. Trust me, the more you chase money, the more it will make you chase it. The more you stop, it will chase you. It will come to you. Universe is so abundant. It is made for, uh, it is made to serve you. It is made for you. And if it's relationships, trust me, I know at this moment it seems like I'll never find someone as good as this person or I'll never have love again. It feels like that. But trust me, through history you've seen, love is forever in your heart, but it doesn't mean we don't move on from this person. Time heals. You will find love again. Maybe not in the same type of love, but you might find a beautiful family with you. You might find friends. You might find a pet. And trust me, love is in different forms. So if you can reach out and if, if there's some way I can help you, Please let me. And it's not about you anymore. It's about me. You see how restless I get when somebody harms himself. So if you reach out um, and you want to get back into the light, you will make me feel like a good person. You will make me feel like I've been useful in this life. So don't think that this is about you. Think that this is about me when you reach out to me. I thank you for listening to me. This has been one of my longest videos, but I think my restlessness also has been too long over the last few days and nights. So reach out, reach out, reach out. I'm here, I'm here, and I'm here.